welcome to Home Designs by Amanda, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you my, um, what I went ahead and got out of the, the new 2017 holiday catalog. This catalog is available right now for um, demonstrators, and it will be available for customers to order out of and to look at um, come September 1st. So if you need a, a holiday catalog, just um, get in contact with me. You can either um, leave a message here or go to my website and leave a comment there. Um, and this is this is the fun front. Um, and I just got um, a whole bunch of of neat neat things here. The ones that the stamp sets I got. Um, this one is Mary Cafe. It is really neat because it goes along with the um, Coffee Cafe stamp set and the dies that are in their annual catalog, which I have a video for that I'm hoping to get up real soon. Um, but I just loved like the apple cider and hello fall. It's pumpkin spice latte season. Just, just really like this. This kind of stuff I'll probably not use. I'm not a Halloween kind of person, so the Halloween stuff I might not use. I may use this for other things. It might work its way into something else, maybe, but I'm pretty sure that won't ever get used. <laughs> but I like that this has like the leaves, those, those were probably like that, and the, the teacup, and the um, some tea stuff to go along with, and apple cider stuff to go along with coffee. Because I, I love both. I, um, I drink tea all the time, I have coffee now and then, I should have less, but I like it too much. So, um, and then these even look like little snowflakes, and so that's just one like that really just is it. just a stamp set, it doesn't have like dyes or anything. Um, I just thought this was cute because you can decorate the car with this and it has like a little tree that you can have kind of like sticking out of it and presents and then it has so it has Christmas, fall, you could use lights any time of the year um, and then wedding stuff. I really liked that like um, just married and the cans coming off of it and things like that. So that's that was a neat one there. So this one is um, a bundle. You can get this either separately or as a bundle. I went ahead and got a bundle. Um, you get the punch for the leaves there. And then this is so cute. They have it in a sunflower kind of look. I can't wait to do that. And I loved the um, thankful um, sentiments there so that you can make some holiday coming up with Thanksgiving holiday cards. So I can't wait to get using that one as well. Um, then this one. At first, it was like, when I saw it, I was like, really? I love quilting. I quilt um, not nearly as much as I used to, but I like it. I like the way the quilts look when, when they're done and um, enjoy the process most of the time. As long as I don't have a deadline. <laughs> they usually get it done faster, though. But these, the color, I think it was the colors they used. Because they were trying to make it holiday-ish, that I just didn't really, like... It didn't, like, jump out of me at first. But then I was looking at it and I'm thinking, I can make it other colors. I don't need to make it those colors. And I can make it look like a quilt any time of the year. And then this was, like, close to what you could use to make poinsettias. Because I couldn't find anything else in the catalog that, like, looked like poinsettias. So I, I thought that this one would be neat to have for um, making it other colors other than Christmas colors. And there's also... Um, this one has dyes. Like, let me see if I can find the quill builder. Here, here's the dyes. So you have dyes, I believe, to cut out all the parts. Well, let's go ahead and open it. I'm not sure. Okay. So we have a die for, we have a square here, so it's going to just cut out a square piece, and then we have this one's going to cut out the, the main quilt piece. We have these to cut out the flowers, 
some more uh, some more dies for this. I believe this one just does a stitching thing. It doesn't actually cut. It's it's a embossing like stitches on. And the same with they these. This one cuts that one and stitches these pieces here. Um, and then on here you don't have stamps, but you have dies for a needle and a spool of thread. And then looks like some holly leaves that aren't necessarily um, in the stamp set. And then some little flowers and a star. Oh, there's the star right there. And a little flower as well. So that's really neat there. Um, I think once I get to using it, I'll really like it. And things like that, you know. It's that initial kind of like, oh, why they use those colors? But hey, some people like certain colors and other people like other colors. A neat one there. Oh, and also that goes along with the quilting here. They have a quilt top textured impressions, and I just thought that was really neat. Um, it's gonna make a really neat background on paper. So there's that one. There's that. But that's an embossing folder. All right. Um, and then we have um, my other fall one here is pick a pumpkin. Um, like I just said, I don't do Halloween at all. So these three will probably not be used, especially on the pumpkins. Just probably won't happen. Um, but I love fall. So there's pumpkins and like fall looking like leaves. And then I also did go ahead and get the, um, the dies to go with that. Ah. All right. So let's see what kind of pumpkin dies we got here. So we have one that looks like it will do like just an outline, kind of like the leaf one from the annual catalog and the colorful seasons. I think that, I think this does the same kind of thing, it only in pumpkin. And then this one will cut out, looks like stars in your pumpkin. And then here you just have your pumpkin and gourds that go along with your stamps. Then this must go with the, the flower leaf thing here and that one must go no this one looks like that if I just look at it yeah that one go there so this would just be an extra die there that doesn't necessarily go with a stamp and the same with these leaves which are really cute I didn't know there was leaves in there I guess I wasn't paying attention that close cut out some some stars I guess they're, they're, they look more like plus signs I don't know what those are for actually those look like they do more embossing than cutting, but maybe, let's see, you, uh, I don't know, I'll have to see what they do. These are neat, these are just flourish kind of pieces. That I think I'm going to, I'll probably have to get out my paper, because I forget about stuff that I have, but on these kind of things that are going to be like really hard to glue down, I need to remember to use this, it's, it's in the annual catalog this year, it's um, adhesive sheets. So you can run it through, you can put your dies right on it, run it through, and it, they're going to be sticky when you're done. So that's like really exciting for little things like this that are going to be hard to put a glue dot on and not see the glue dot, or glue gets messy. The white Tombow glue gets messy, and I don't like messy. <sighs> At least with adhesives. I can handle other messies, but adhesive messies is just kind of like, ugh. This way my girls usually are only allowed glue sticks. <laughs> okay. Now, my other one, let's see here. Okay. So I have two more stamp uh, stamp bundle, stamp and um, thin lip bundles. Or let's start with the Hearts Come Home set. So the Hearts Come Home, I'm not a just like I'm not in Halloween, I'm not a big Santa Claus fan, so this probably won't get me used a whole lot, if any. The most I would use it for would probably be if somebody, if I made cards to sell, like at a craft fair or something, I might put it on there for somebody that would want that. Maybe. Or I might just leave it out altogether and they can pick from other, other cute cards that are made for the holiday season without Santa Claus on them. But... 
I thought this was cute. I like the joy of the world, and then I really like the houses. And then it has some neat little sentiments about all hearts come home for Christmas. Enjoy the warmth of the season. That one's pretty neat. I like how it has the two fonts in there together. And then, um, just nice, nice Christmas sentiments to put on cards. Um, and then it, this also comes with edgelet dies, so that means that they're gonna, like, cut off they're gonna cut, be cut off around the edges here. So you have, like, layering ones here. Come on, no, that's it. It's more of these star things that I have to figure out. But then you have these three little houses, and then you, I really can't wait to get to use these. I loved the church in it. That is just oh, so cute. And the little trees, and the little snowman. So I can't wait. I love the, um, the samples I've seen of this, so I can't wait to do them. Um, do some. But I just got the box last night, and this is the first chance I've even had to open the stuff. And this, I think, is supposed to be what it is. is going to be like the top of a, a tag. So, like, if you have a tag here, and you cut it, you can cut your piece of paper with this. If you have it square or rectangular it up, it would cut it out, and there you'd have you'd have a tag. A really cute tag with a little hole in it. That's a heart. That's so cute. That's nice. I Because I didn't buy any of the the tag ones, so that one just kind of like come with it and that'll make it really nice for me because I didn't need the others. Especially when I only have so much to spend. Right? Like most people. Um, so there's those ones. Um, last set that I got um, is the Night in Bethlehem. Couldn't pass it up. No way. Um, I love the city scene. That is just definitely. I, I've always liked the silhouette of the city um, scenes for Christmas cards and I'm gonna just really enjoy making these I'm sure. I like that they have the star and then some more um, nice sentiments there. Um, I liked this one, wishing you a season of joy as we remember the night when love came down to earth and became our song of celebration. I've never heard like a sentiment like that, but I really like it. Uh, and then I can put in Jesus is the reason for the season or something like that. I like the rejoice in Christ. That's nice. And, and I just really liked it. And the shepherd, that's cute. And then it comes with framelits of the houses. Oh, the city. I just, I, oh, sorry. I love it. Um, so I don't know that the stamp set actually coordinates with the framelits, but you could definitely, um, do some different things with them. Yeah, the stamp, the stamp of the house, this stamp doesn't actually match the, the dies, but silhouette of the city, that is, like, awesome. And then this, you could always do a background kind of a thing and have these layer on in the front. You know, things like that. And then you can cut out Mary and Joseph, and the shepherd and the lamb, and the star. So, oh, even better seeing it in person than what I saw it, because I didn't even have a catalog at the time that I was ordering, I just got to see it online. Um, so these are even better than they were shared online. So that's cool. I got some, I also got a few like supply type things. I got um, some new, some new cutting plates for my big shot, uh, an adhesive. I got these new, okay, let's do those in a second. I'll show you the rest of my supplies. I got some clear envelopes. I use those to package already made cards in because I'm going to be doing a craft show at the end of September so I wanted to make sure I had a few more on hand um I may need to order more if that's not enough but um this is new to me I they've had it for a long time but it's new to me so we'll see how it works out it's the wink of Stella brush um it's supposed to make things like you know sparkly so I thought for Christmas cards that would probably be something worth getting. And I got some silver embossing powder. Another nice, because I already had the gold, so silver or gold, you know, nice Christmas stuff. I'm definitely getting into the holiday, getting holiday stuff 
going through my head. So I got green. My favorite um, color is green, so getting a whole package of old olive just seemed great. You know. And then I went ahead and got the birthday memories just because of the colors that are in it. Birthday memories, because it's crumb cake, Pacific Point, and Soft Sky. Because I thought those would be nice um, colors to go with the some of the um, cityscape, Christmas cityscape things and, and nice um, backgrounds for that. And I, it, had, it took me a while to narrow it down, but that's the colors I went with. And I also got uh, some ink refill, two ink refills, just, you know, simple stuff that you need. Um, so then the other thing that I got that's new, I got two packages because I want to, again, be able to pack it, use these to package stuff up for the craft fair. And I also um, have a few other, other things that I'm thinking of. So these I might need to get some more of as well. But they're new um, in the holiday catalog. These are so awesome. They're so thick and nice. Wow. And you get 10 of them, I think. 10 of them, in, yeah, 10 of them in a package for like $6, I think it is. It's like, wow. And they're supposed to fit, I think it's that they can fit five regular cards and, and with their envelopes. Let's see here. So like that, I'm like, yeah, because you can sell, sell or give away um, card packages of cards and then they're they're the, they're like let's see I have a ruler right here they're just over a half an inch thick so you could put anything in there that you want to give as a gift I know they had candies they put candy in there when they were showing the the samples of these um, to the demonstrators before um, we could before we ordered and um, so just the how nice these are give a nice little gift these would definitely um I, my kids don't go to public school we homeschool but if you did if you do like these would make nice gifts just to give the teachers or we could give them to our sunday school teachers or something like that but it just these are going to be really nice to package up cards in and give a gift set of cards really really like those really nice and sturdy and then they'll look real cute with some ribbon around them and a little tag on them so really really nice those are definitely worth their money um so that's what i'm going to watch today and i hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video and i hope you that you come back again soon thanks for watching bye